What's up, everybody? Uh, thank you for coming back. Uh, I, although, uh, not making much uh, videos of uh, this year, the uh, rest of this year, 2023. I've been kind of laying off a little bit because uh, a lot of work I had to do. Work about on and off six, six to seven days a week. So it's kind of struggle trying to make anything. Plus, I don't really have very much content to actually show out this year. I do will have something definitely for next year your start because i have a few things i need to fix on the honda fits i need to work on um and plus uh new things and in install on it too so just uh keep on the heads up uh update your stats uh hit the notifications just make sure you see my next uh, video uh, be popping up so this video is going to be for helping my friend out with his brakes so He's not very much experience on it, and I have experience uh, from doing classes on bench bleeding uh, in school. So this gives me a good opportunity just to freshen up again, and hope that this helps uh, some of you guys out there though, too, out on the YouTube world and trying to figure out stuff. So here you go, and please uh, subscribe and then follow. And thank you. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a bench bleed uh, process on this. Uh, 2007 Pontiac G6 3.5 uh, It's a brand new master cylinder the old one after it sits for a while the internal starts uh, Deteriorating and the one I noticed uh, when actually bench bleeding the original one um, The fluid was going really good. There's a lack of big bubbles, but there is uh, Micro bubbles that's only to say there's some type of leak. So we pulled off the master cylinder inspected everything in we noticed the uh, the bottom corner was leaking from out uh, from outside on the back of the piston where the seal is. So we replace it and with a AC Delco, basically a GM a product, and we're pumping with a new brake fluid. We're gonna uh, bleed the whole process with this whole car and make sure everything is uh, clear out and everything. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you're uh, bench bleeding. A massive cylinder so here we go all right now I already I bought a bench bleed kit uh, off on Amazon um, basically you could probably get possibly at AutoZone or whatever you could probably ask for uh, from all over the counter see if they actually have a bench bleed kit for the massive cylinder um, so basically you have to tighten these down with the hoses um, and then I put the piston section outwards so I can just naturally watch everything flow in and you, Definitely want to have both hoses as much as you, in you can. And on top of that, uh, make sure there's fluid enough to keep the flowing uh, going still. So let me show you how it work right here. And we'll go from there. And I'm just going to have my friend uh, watch the two. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on pumping just enough to make sure everything goes through pretty good. And I'll just leave the lines as it is into the car and go from there then. Um, then we'll have to do the brake bleed process after that we put everything back in. Yeah, before there was no micro bubbles or anything. Actually, be, uh, now it, there's no really much of micro bubbles. It's just nice and flow. All right. So there, now we can uh, uh, put the put in the car and uh, get ready for put the lines on. <laughs> 